Wow, there's a lot to say about this episode. It's kind of a turning point for Fudge's adaption, if I'm being honest. Not that it was bad before or that it's going to get bad now. I see turning point because it really shows us a lot about how it's going to be moving forward. The pacing, the additions, etc. so on. But let's get right to it because just like this episode, we do not have time to waste. The episode 3 of the Bleach Thousand Year Blood War anime adapted a total of 6 chapters and some pages that were covered in episode 2 and new scenes. Of course, they didn't achieve that without cutting stuff. There was a lot of cut dialogue, especially regarding the beginning of the invasion, about the fact that they were already inside of the barrier. They just cut all of that and went straight to it. But, for example, the vice captains meeting with Yumichika and Ikaku about the subplot from episode 1 where they found a bunch of disappearing Rokungai citizens was cut, completely deleted. However, the payoff to that scene of Yamamoto confronting Mayuri about those disappearances and about the fact that he killed all those people to keep the balance of souls from TP over, that is kept and instead they add a throwaway scene back into that very scene to reference the Ikaku Yumichika investigation from episode 1. And I think that's fine. Cuts like that are actually perfectly fine because they keep all the payoff and all the essence and the only thing that it takes away really is what? Nemu saying that there is no way Mayuri would do anything bad ever. Which, while a good character moment for her, not that important really. I sa I'm sad to see it cut, but, I, but I'm not too torn either way. Regardless, let's stop talking about what didn't make it and address the stuff that is in, the new stuff. First and foremost, a new poem by Kubo. And if the episode count really is 52, that would mean there are a lot more from where this one came from. And I'm honest to God, super excited about that. I'm not going to analyze it right now, but Jesus, I'm so happy to finally have it confirmed. I was going crazy thinking, what the hell are they doing? And now I know. Now I know what they're doing. 33 new poems. God, that would, that's just amazing. About the poems though, let's talk about something from the manga, the title pages. Of course, Kubo had a habit of putting them in the scenery itself. And the anime just took one of those title pages and put it in there, much of the star cross from the chapter of the same name. And I think that that was great. That was a great touch. I hope they keep doing it because there are some pages who are very iconic and I hope they make it. Anyway, this episode has the first big fight of this arc, which is Ichigo and OP. And to risk a controversial opinion, I thought it looked fine. The FX look, look great. The voice acting of OP is amazing. And the scenes themselves are cut fine, but it just look okay. Not bad or disappointing. It looked consistent and I liked it. It was a great experience. However, I can't lie. I was more enthralled the rest of the episode. This fight was not what captivated me the most here. Which is weird because I still liked it very much. But that's just the level the episode is on, man. Anyway, about new stuff, let's talk about Uryu, the big thing. New scenes of Uryu going on, searching the archives of his family, finding out the truth, trying to reason with his father, his father telling him to fuck off, all of that is great. I really keep hoping we get expansions on Uryu uh, all the while because the more Uryu we get this arc, the better. Just great stuff. Disconnective tissue was not in the manga and honest to God, it has made already a huge difference and I hope it keeps getting added on to, you know. Uryu mentioned his mother in that scene which makes me think that when we eventually get to the flashback, that is going to be expanded on too. We might even be getting it this core because, as I said before, there was six chapters this episode. That was a little bit quick, to be honest. Anyway, moving aside from that, 
the thing that I want to take away from this episode the most is this, it is the structure, the way these things are arranged. I am so happy that they are arranged like this. There are some cuts, some things that I wanted to see that got cut. However, however, overall, I am very, very happy with this direction. And I really hope we continue with it, like see through it to the end because animation can get better or worse but if we keep this pacing we might even get like a full core of just new material like the connective tissue we already gotten has been great and the connective tissue we are going to get is just going to be amazing you know like balancer's justice for example was already a good moment in the manga where the six seat of the company talks about the nature of wars but now instead of being contrasted with op fighting ion it's being contrasted with uryu finding out the same truths that he's telling yuki and shino madarame and i think that's just great those types of upgrades i am more than down to having some cuts to some manga dialogue so if, if we can get more connective tissue with Uryu and more scenes like that who are just straight up upgrades of their manga versions. And yeah, the next episode is titled Kill the Shadow and it's poem read by Hitsugaya. It's about him trying to grasp onto his frost beating world after it's taken away from him. Of course, referencing the things that happen in those chapters. More specifically, the scene where he tries to scream to Yonimaru calling his name, but it fails. Just adding more layers to, to, to that scene, just amazing. More poems by Kubo, I can't wait. However, due to the pacing, I'm expecting the next new poem will be like episode 7. Because I also am betting that every single volume poem is going to be in this adaption. Of course. Which... And due to the pacing, we're probably going to get episode 5, it's going to be Out of Bloom from volume 57, and episode 6, it's going to be the fire from volume 58 but i find it very difficult to believe that we are not getting a new poem for episode 7. hopefully it's either born in the darkness or or the stand ablaze both of those will, would be great jesus ah i'm so excited i'm so excited ah anyway thank you for watching see you next week have a great day